Excuse me? Mrs. Seabird. I know who killed Arlo Finnegan. I did. Yvonne, we're out of time. flew all the way to Miami just to kill this Arlo Finnegan, a total stranger. Yes, on a private plane. So there's no record of this plane taking off or landing. Did you get a look at the pilot? Well, the door was closed. Mrs. Seberg, while you claim to be in Miami, your security shows that you were at the mayor's mansion all night. If the service can keep a plane invisible, how hard is it to sneak me in and out of a house? The service? Yvonne, we're out of time, my love. No, I can't. This man murdered a child in cold blood, so do it before he kills another child. Now. I needed my husband murdered so he couldn't kill anyone else. I hired the service to kill him. Their price, I kill Arlo Finnegan. But the mayor, your husband, died of a heart attack. Why would you agree to killing a total stranger? I didn't. They withheld that until it was too late. Is it possible the medication you're on is altering your perception, Yvonne? Excuse me, I'm not taking any medication. If you're telling the truth, why didn't you go to the Miami PD? You know what, respectfully, I commissioned a murder for hire on San Francisco soil, so are you telling me that that's not your problem, detective? I mean, what would your lieutenant think if I told the FBI that the police weren't interested? Oh, I assure you, we're listening. So when you learned that you had to kill someone, why didn't you back out? What could they do to you at that point? Anything. Your psychiatrist is here. I'm Dr. Lahari. I was concerned when Yvonne didn't show up for our regular appointment. I knew I'd find her here. May we use the room? All yours, Doc. They're not listening. What are you doing, Yvonne? If you've learned anything, it's we can always make it worse for you. How would that look now? Any way we wanted to. We throw you out a window with a note in your handwriting saying why you jumped. The police will buy it wholesale. I've already told them everything. All you've told them is you're a grieving widow withering in the public eye. Okay. Then how did I come up with Arlo Finnegan? Arlo's murder was a national story that coincided with your loss. Oh my God, you people have a move for everything. That's why you hired us. I never signed up for this. My husband's murder was justified, but you lied about Arlo. He was an innocent man. He never hurt anyone. Well, he was guilty of being a problem for someone. How do you live with yourself? The same way you do. I am nothing like you. <laughs> You'll never convince either one of us of that. I am ending this now. All right, my love. <sighs> oh, uh, which of your homeless shelters do I burn down? Hey! Help! Unless you convince the police you made all this up. Tick tock. She's gonna burn down one of my shelters. Your shrink? Look, her watch! It's the same as mine! Okay, she took it off my wrist! Doctor, do you know what she's been telling us? I'm afraid so. She's with the service! On my life! Yvonne, you're in crisis. I can take you to my office and we can talk, but if you can't control yourself, I'll have to admit you. You control what happens next.